Hi, my name is Thomas Torreson, and this is my pitch, uh, my project pitch for Intro to Entrepreneurship at Columbia College. Um, one problem that's, that's that's always coming up in the sports industry is with chronic traumatic encephalopathy, um, also known as CTEs. This is a disease that's only diagnosed posthumously, and it's commonly found in athletes who play high-impact sports such as football hockey, rugby, and boxing. Um, some well-known athletes that have that have been diagnosed with CTE are the NFL's Junior Seau, BMX star Dave Mira, and WWE's Chris Benoit. And some of some of the some of the past athletes, such as boxers Sugar Ray Robinson, Joe Lewis, and even Muhammad Ali, are thought to have had signs of CTE, although that was before the times of CTE research. Many of the many of the of their symptoms are consistent with CTE research. Um, so my idea is to create a sensor that would adapt to some of these sports helmets and it would be able to monitor brain waves and, and impact levels from some of their, from some of the contact. And it would prov provide doctors with the ability to give a better diagnosis um, during the time of injury. So this product would focus on two different consumer markets. The first one, would be for the individual athletes. Um, they would purchase the helmet sensors themselves, and and the second market would focus on um, some of the collegiate and professional teams and organizations who would buy them in larger quantities. So more importantly, my focus would be on the larger markets with the sports organizations, the collegiate teams. Um, obviously, you're going to get more revenue off of those. So, my my initial push would be to try and set up contracts with these teams and these organizations, and um, and try and get them all on board with that. Um, so, the different price points that I would have in place, um, there would have to be a software that would be purchased to go with this. That would be able to to track and monitor all the all the data that's that's gathered from the sensors. Um, so, for the software. The lowest price point would be $500, which would include a 100 sensors, and that software would be able to track data for up to five people. Your second set of software would be come, come at a price point of $2,500, and that would that package would come with 1,000 sensors, and you'd be able to track that data for an unlimited for you'd be able to track an unlimited amount of people with that with that software. Um, for the sensors themselves, they would come in three different packages. You could get that for 25 sensors for $50. 100 sensors for $180 or 1,000 sensors for $600. Um, so obviously the smaller price point items are directed at, in, at individual consumers and you'd be able to find those at some of your some of your uh, big retailer, your big sports retailers such as Dick Sporting Goods, Big Five, um, and, and so on. Um, uh, but the team focused items would only be available online or through a sales representative. Uh, So the, the consumer would benefit from this item because they would have a better idea. Uh, the, the doctors would have a better idea of, of what's going on with the injury um, with immediate data. And for the for the teams for the teams and sports organizations that have uh, doctors on their staff that are there at the events, they'd be able to have that data immediately as well. Um, So initially, for for my competitors, initially there wouldn't be much much comp competition in this market, as I'm there's nothing on the market doing this right now. But as I'm showing success with this product, there's going to be imitators. They're going to be tagging along and trying to jump on board. Uh, so my plan for success is is I, I want to make a strong push to get as many colleges and professional teams on board with this product. Get those. Get every trying to get everybody to be implementing these sensors into their helmets, and then by my five-year mark, I want to be able to uh, partner with one of the big helmet producers, such as Wilson or Rawlings, um, and so forth, and and have the have these sensors permanently implanted into the helmet, rather than having to have individual sensors that have to be replaced after each event. Um, so th that's going to be a larger price point. But at the same time, I think it's going to be a longer lasting, more durable product. 
Um, and that's my that's my pitch.